We know that when a baby is born by C-section, they are born with very different microbes compared to vaginal delivery infants. Um, so this is something we've known for some time. And we also know that C-section babies tend to have a higher likelihood, a higher risk of developing some diseases. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to be talking about a trial, a clinical trial that we've started very recently, where we try to reintroduce microbes uh, to C-section babies. Uh, and the idea is that perhaps by reintroducing these microbes that they are missing, we can lower the risk uh, of developing allergies later in life. There was a bit of controversy around the issue of um, uh, safety, right? As you can imagine, uh, a neonate has never been exposed to any microbes, and all of a sudden, we are swabbing them with the bacteria that you find in the in the birth canal, right? So um, uh, there was some uh, there were some groups that uh, raised this concern, uh, and we think it's a valid concern, safety of um, participants in the study. Um, but I think we are, we are addressing that type of issues um, uh, properly. We have a very rigorous um, criteria to define when moms can participate in this study and when they should be excluded. So we try to minimize as much as possible um, the risks while trying to show at the same time that this procedure actually provides a benefit to the, to the infant. Um, and I think because this is a larger study uh, compared to the previous one, um, we'll be able to address those issues uh, much more robustly than we were able before. It's a very exciting area of research for us because if we show that this procedure is safe and effective, uh, we potentially could change the way in which C-sections are performed. The next step for us is to refine it. Right? So if we show that there is a benefit, uh, we're still very far off from understanding why there is a benefit. Is there a benefit because we're reintroducing a bunch of bacteria? Which ones in particular are important for that benefit? Um, can we design uh, bacterial communities in the lab that are able to achieve that benefit um, without uh, some of the uh, risks involved with uh, swapping infants with vaginal fluids. So, so that, for instance, I think is a, is, a, is a very interesting area of research. So narrowing it down to particular bacteria to define communities that we can use in the future. I see a lot of parallelisms with um, uh, studies on fecal transplants. Uh, fecal transplants have been used very effectively to treat certain conditions, um, Clostridium difficile infections, and they are so effective that Basically, the consensus is, well, we don't quite understand how this works, but it's so incredibly effective, there is so much benefit to the patients that we're just going to move ahead. Um, if that happens to be the case with our study, then we are much closer to having a clinical application. Um, is that going to happen? That's what we need to, to study in the next few years.